I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just. Good morning. Sarah and I are on another training hike on the AT northbound from Washington Mountain Road in the town of Washington. And we're gonna hike just under seven miles to the Kaywood Shelter in Dalton, Mass. It's cold this morning. The car said 34 degrees when we parked. And a little bit of a dusting of snow on the ground up here. Just an, an update on my, my carpal tunnel. I had my left wrist, uh, the procedure done, the carpal release on Friday of last. It's Thanksgiving week, it's Monday right now. And the procedure went well. It was quick, so quick. And the pain was minimal afterwards, pretty much no pain. I had a good amount of swelling yesterday, but I just kept icing it. And I'm just using one trekking pole today and being careful. Sarah asked me this morning, where are we hiking today? And so I recommended this. I don't know, there are endless hiking opportunities here in Western Massachusetts. And we're fortunate that the AT is close to our home. And then we can go out and hike on it in preparation for this upcoming through hike. But I, I prefer to be out on sections of the AT when we're out training. It kind of feels comforting to me. Um, I've always loved the AT. And over the years we've had the opportunity to do some trail magic and also to meet 
some through hikers, some YouTube vloggers, some of the people that we follow, like Taylor, the New Hampshire hiker. We met her in 2023 at the top of Greylock. And we've also, uh, this year, we had the opportunity to meet Captain Jack. Met him down in Great Barrington. Took him out to breakfast. And we also met Heather and Chuck this uh, summer when they came through. We took them out to dinner. Just love talking to people who are through hiking the trail and listening to them and, and asking them questions. The trail community is so amazing. Everybody's always willing to, to help out. And some of the other people I've had a chance to meet um, he hasn't hiked through hiked the trail in a few years, but quicksand from the quicksand show. He, he greatly influences my videos. If you, uh, if you follow him on YouTube, then you'll know what I mean. He was one of the first people I fo I followed and I've really adopted a lot of my videoing to his you know, the walkaways and the twos, I'm putting music to it, etc. And the same year I met Quicksand, I had the opportunity at the same time to meet Hawk, Craig Maines. And I don't know how many times he's through hiked the Appalachian Trail. I would guess at least four or five. Sorry if it's more. <laughs>
Okay, so we made it to the uh, the Blue Blaze Trail that goes up to the Kaywood Shelter, but it's almost like a quarter mile from from here up to the shelter. And to be honest, we're pretty tired. Yeah, I don't know. I think we started around 9:30, quarter to 10, and it's almost it's got to be two o'clock now. But anyway, um, it was good, but it felt a lot longer than the 6.2 that Gut Hooks had suggested. Far out. <laughs> far out as suggested <laughs> so i'll save uh filming the shelter and the logbook for another day i think what i'd like to do is come up here and spend the night um, and test out my sleep system whether it's bringing the durst in and pitching it or just staying in the actual shelter that's a, a future plan of mine all right everybody have a great night and thanks for watching